Please help me welcome back up to the stage the writer director of Remy Weeks. Thank you so much for a wonderful film. I wanted to ask you uh, about the ocean dream sequences. Could you talk a little bit about how you captured those? Because they're absolutely incredible. We shot um, in a tank in West London. Um, poor Chopin, the actor, had to <laughs> fall over backwards lots of times. <laughs> and he hated me. <laughs> if he still hates me. <laughs> um, but it looked great. Um, so yeah, that's how we shot it. Um, so it was a pretty big tank, so mo most of the water around it was real, but then it, the rest was CG. Um, what was your research process like to get into the cultural specificity that kind of felt like it was there, but that still felt universal? We had South Sudanese um, experts and people from South Sudan who we spent a lot of time with reading and researching and a lot of the ideas and the myths within the film are based on the stories that are popular. That we went through the script again and again and again with people in terms of language and food and just little things that will, I guess, butt against British things and Britishness. I think when people come to the UK, I think we've been very good in the West to sell a fantasy of what the West is and it's really convincing and for many people who come to England, they feel like, oh, this is it. <laughs> and that's always fascinating. Um, for the witch, the look of the witch, was that all like real prosthetics? Yeah. That's awesome. It was, that was terrifying. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. I'm wondering if the house was a set or an actual house, and what were maybe some challenges of shooting in a like falling apart house with stuff moving to the wall constantly? It was both. So we shot in a place called Tilbury in Essex, and there's a real house there that we recreated in a set for the, the, the destruction scenes. Shooting on location. The Tilbury is a working class town. It's a really tough neighborhood. So working there was really hard, um, being respectful and them. And I think they really got what we were trying to do, especially as it's the area is quite known for not being the most friendly to immigrants. But I guess shooting there was probably the hardest place to shoot. The set was relatively straightforward. Um, how do you, like, when you're making the film, how do you judge the right level of scariness? Like, I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, like, hit it right in the moment. How do you get there? It was a uh, push and pull through the edit process. There's versions of this where it wasn't that scary at all. There's versions of this where it was just scares. It was, it was a challenge to find a good balance. I'm quite low brow, high brow. I like The Shining. There's some Shining references in there. But yeah. I also like, I know what he did last summer. <laughs> I love movies and I love storytelling. And I always felt if I could infuse the ideas that I've had growing up with, I guess, the kind of movies I like, it will be the kind of place I'd like to make films in. How did the cast become involved? How did you find your two leads with Mumi and Sopek? We auditioned a lot of people, um, and they happened to come at the same time. So yeah, it was audition them together, and when they did, it became very easy for me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>